who cares how old you are when your life is this sweet? That's the mentality of 103-year-old Luis Thompson. It would be delicious. <laughs> yes, believe it or not, this woman... I haven't slowed, slowed down any. ...is 103 years old. She just seems to be like what that bunny that just keeps on going, you know. She just has that love of life. She says her recipe for a long, happy and healthy life requires several ingredients. Thompson was born in Virginia back in 1914, moving here to Fairbanks about 18 years ago to be closer to family. Ask your mom to make a chocolate cake. Still living on her own, cooking up something sweet at least once a week. I requested that she make her chocolate cake with chocolate icing. Following the same recipe for as long as she can remember. In her earlier years, Thompson lived in Poughkeepsie, New York, running a successful catering business. Well, I used to make cakes and pies and rolls and what have you. She even catered for Franklin D. Roosevelt, whose son Elliot would show up at her doorstep wanting a taste of her famous cake. baked goods. Mostly for Elliot because uh, he was the only son, I think, that was at home, and he was always at my house for pie, <laughs> apple pie. And if you think living alone and baking at 103 is impressive... I'm the oldest person there, dear. <laughs> you should see her hit the weights. Two more after this. She's very inspiring. She can do her left elbow to her right knee better than I can. Twist for three. Twice a week Twist. for the past 12 years. We're going to bring it up slowly. Thompson Two, has been a fixture three. at the Senior Center Fitness class. Exercise. I always continue to do exercise. Encouraging other seniors, decades her junior, along with her daughter to keep moving. That's why I'm going now. <laughs> because I don't have an excuse anymore not to go. Work was my excuse. Now that I'm retired, there is no excuse. And then there's Louise over there showing off, going the farthest. She brought other people in her apartment building that normally wouldn't come to exercise. She'd knock on their door and say, hey, we're exercising, come on down, and she'd bring them down. And just to be clear, these classes are not walks in the park. These classes are about hard work. You don't get guns like those lifting the light stuff. Stretching and arm stretching and raising your legs and kicking your legs. Mom can touch her toes. I still can't get quite down there. So <laughs> she gets all the way down there, touches her toes. An accomplishment at any age. Well, I feel honored. I'm honored. One which she has recently been recognized for receiving a Lifetime Fitness Recipient Award at Fairbanks' Senior Recognition Day. And whereas Louise's dedication to exercise serves as a positive role model, and she encourages others to participate in the Fairbanks North Star Borough Parks and Recreation Exercise Program. So what's Thompson's secret to living past 100? She credits all the sweet things in life, faith, family, exercise, and a little chocolate cake. <laughs>